So it's a wedding day today. It is the day that every YouTube TV viewer ever in the history of YouTube TV has been waiting for. I'm ready. Are you ready to get married? I'm ready. Oh my God, I'm exhausted. I got no sleep. I didn't sleep at all. I did not sleep for a second. Literally, I was up every hour on the hour just checking the time because the last thing I wanted to do was be late for my wedding. I don't like being late in general, but if I was late for my wedding, I would have been pissed. But yo, check out this view though. It's the view, man. Look at that. And that's how you make a bed on your wedding day. Got the rings on deck. Got the marriage certificate on deck. As long as we have those two things, nothing can go wrong, right? Like, Thicker lashes, very light, not too kinky. Right. How you feeling? Show me the Mendy. Is it dark? It's hella dark. What's your that mom mean? is going to love me. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Morning, guys. Did you get some sleep? Not really. This is my sister-in-law. We're here. We got Dre in the house. Hey. I'm tired and hungry. We're gonna get you a bagel. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get me a rebel. They have really good bagels. You make them fresh. Oh yeah. So fire. Yeah. I'm just excited to see my family in LA watching me get married. I think it's just gonna be such a beautiful moment. I can't wait to get married. Everything in between me and getting married to Jazz, I just want to get done. Five something. Is he awake? He was. I think he went back to sleep. Let's check the. Whoa. Hold on. <gasps> Is this the right room? Is this your room? Run. Run. So, boy? <laughs> What's going on, boy? I'm ready, man. Let's do this. Let's do this. We're married, man. It's only 529. Let me roll. 529 already? 529. I'm here. I'm alive. I'm just awake with my eyes closed. What? That's sort of us, really. <laughs> got my Red Bull. Now we can actually get stuff done. My bug guy that's gonna tie my turban is gonna be here in half an hour. I still have to trim my beard and shave. You know, just clean up a little bit, you know? We're gonna do that and then see what's up. Hopefully I'm not late. Hopefully he's a little bit late. There's my room. Let's not make the same mistake twice. So we have Majestic, the company that I helped build. You know, I was, you know, a pioneer. I pretty much, without me, there would be no Majestic, you know what I'm saying? But they flew all the way to LA to shoot my wedding, my brother Amin and his partner now, Ramen. Kind of funny, I was like, Amin and Ramen. Give me some words of wisdom, bro. I'm about to get married just now, in five hours. <laughs> this is the one day I need it. Please, bro, never say never, because you never know what day is going to come next. Okay, man. You're never going to get married, look where you are today. He comes prepared. We got Janelle in the building. What's up, man? How you feeling? I feel great. How about you? This guy always feels good. Very positive guy. Has been shooting weddings for about five years, just doesn't know what the process. I retired five years ago, man. They're shooting the wedding, they're doing so much, they're going way out of their way to do things that we want to get done. Jazz has a vision of her own that she told them and they're like doing it exactly how Jazz has envisioned it, which makes me really happy. Everything that Jazz wants is happening, video and photo. So Majestic is killing it. Banga Studios is doing a great job. Oh my God, I wasn't even filming this whole time. No. I forgot to press record. <laughs> Guys, I gotta stop with this British accent because I'm gonna look back on this video and I'm gonna be pissed that I was talking in a British accent this whole time. Harji just decided last minute he wants to get right here instead of our house. He missed me so much. It was easier. You know, but I wouldn't miss you too, don't I? RG is like, I'm gonna get ready at home and you're gonna get ready at the hotel. And then I'm gonna like, you know, do my entrance and stuff. And then last minute, last night, he was like, you know what, Jazz, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ready at the hotel. Did you find a seamstress? I went to 20 places yesterday. And then I like found a girl like 40 minutes away. And so she's gonna actually cut the zipper off oh, wow. and like make it do into it like, like a, yeah. This is it, this is my entire outfit, y'all. Jazz thoughts? Yo, do a spit, do a spit. Oh my God. They gave him so a Langa so too. <laughs> I think they gave me the wrong outfit. One hand up. Yeah, little bit. <laughs> One thing you could change from this entire week. Don't organize a wedding by yourself. It's tough not having your parents around. Like they came here, like it just made my life a little harder because I was like trying to entertain them and take care of them while also trying to plan a wedding. But other than that, it's been a pretty good week. It's been pretty chill. I'm getting married today in about four hours. 
and I just pulled up some notes on my phone that Jazz would send me. Pretty much what happened is we started going out. Right when we became official boyfriend girlfriend, she went on like a seven month world tour. So I didn't get to see her, but she would send me these cute notes. She would write them on the hotel stationery. And um, this is one that I found. Just wanted to say that I miss you more than ever. All I can think about is being with you in our tiny apartment, listening to vinyls and drinking coffee. That one's from Australia. And then there's another one here from SoFi. I'm not sure where this one's even from i hope you had a great sleep hello from brisbane australia sorry so this one's also from australia the coffee here is amazing i wish i was waking up next to you right now i love you to the moon and back love jazz there's like so many of these and we're actually gonna grow old together which is which is amazing and uh today's a big day what are you most excited about my bagel <laughs> he's my best friend he's the, my favorite person in the whole world don't make me cry Ow. <laughs> I gotta take a dump. It is the big one. We've been hyped for this. This we can our boy married and our girl as well. I'm feeding Jazz a bagel. Okay. I brought some food for her. Jeep. Got them some coffee. They're hungry, but they obviously are excited. Too. I'm so happy. Pinky Pinky. I'm great. How are you? Good, man. Yo, this girl, yeah. A better British accent than me now, man. I mean. I'm tripping out. I'm gonna go back and be like, yo guys, like I don't even sound like that anymore, yo. So Drea finished my makeup and Mandeep comes in and she's like, I have something to give you. I'm like, bro, I just did my makeup. I'm gonna cry. I got you something for your wedding. No! It's very big. It's Why are you giving this to me after I got my makeup done? I know, I wanted to do it earlier, but then you wanna look cute, right? <laughs> you do not have to get me anything. What is, what is this? The glitter attachment, you can attach it to your glitter. You're gonna make me cry. Those are so sick. She gives me these attachments that go onto my Kalire. And one is a picture of my mom and one is a picture of my brother, who obviously couldn't be here today because they are up in heaven. They're they're here. They're watching down on, on me and supporting me and stuff. But um, I'm gonna cry again. <sighs> okay. These are so cute. I don't know what to do to my mom. My mom and my broski. Sick. Wow. I was trying to figure out how I could have them with me. This is so sick. I just ruined my makeup, man. I set myself up with this. <laughs> Damn. When I uh, got them, we all looked at everyone started crying. Yeah. So I wanted to say this so badly because I didn't want to give away anything but the but you know how you have your bangs really short now? Yeah. You look, look like exactly like your mom. Like your mom. Yeah, it's yeah. so crazy. And I'm trying not to cry, guys. It was so nice. Thank you, Mandeep. I honestly, I was so stressed out about the wedding that I didn't even think what I wanted to do to add my mom and my brother there. I mean, I put them on my Mendy, but like this was really special. Big shout out to New Dilly Company for my outfit. I love my outfit. I felt like a royal prince, you know, like going to war. The guy that leads the charge at the front, that's what I felt like the whole time. I felt like, uh, you know, I have my croupon, outfit looking nice, bug looking nice. New Dilly Company smashed it. Uh, I can't even do a spin because <laughs> of this train. It is really light. It's perfect. I feel good. So my outfit was made by Money Jessel, who I've known forever. I went to middle school with her and she made my outfit. I love it so much. It's so light. It's not heavy at all. It's very me. Oh, my ears are stabbed. Ah, you can do that. It's gonna be okay. I have the numbing spray thingy. Oh, yes. There you oh, go. can you? Go yes, please. We won't go through? Okay, no, it's in. Can yes. you just like. She needs to make a hook. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where's my Mia? Oh my god, you look so cute, my flower girl. Are you excited? A little bit. A little bit. We are doing the Chura ceremony. The Chura ceremony is where your mom's side of the family, specifically like your mama, like your mom's brother, if she has a brother, my mom's brother came and put the Chura on to me. We got the beautiful bride. We're not giving away for free, I'll tell you that much. I'm taking all of it, all of it in exchange. But you know, I wouldn't be happier because Haji is a gentleman. So congratulations, I wish you guys the best. I'll see you guys at the altar. Back up, mind your business. <laughs> Brandon! How many poses do these mans want, man? Subscribe. We're 20 minutes late, y'all. 20 minutes late. This whole time I thought, me late? Never. <laughs> and here I am. Tying the bug was taking forever. The time for the Barat was approaching. So we're like trying to streamline this whole family picture taking process. We get that done in like five minutes. Our planner 
Neha, looking at you, kept calling me. Kept calling me every five minutes, Harji, it's time, it's time for the bra, it's time. I'm like, yo, I'm not ready yet, you know? I'm just, I keep getting calls, everyone's in the lobby waiting for me. What can I do? And Jazz is vibing. Shay, 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 Shay. Yo, she's actually chilling. She's loving it right now. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not a care in the world. She's loving it right now. Uh, Can someone get her feet? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I'm feeling it. I finally feel like I'm getting married. This week just went by so fast. The weirdest thing about me is I'm so excited for next week to sit in my sweats and edit this footage. <laughs> like that is what I'm most excited about. And I wasn't lying. I'm in my happy place right now. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Yes. We're here behind the scenes behind with the, scenes. the groom himself, guys. Yes, brother. Look at him, look at him. Look? Jappa. Got the embroidery, got the kapan. Okay. Then Beas, number two. For my people that don't know what a brat is, that's pretty much when the groom enters. Some people go all out and they do like horses or they do like helicopters, I don't know, crazy shit. Harji was just himself. He came from upstairs in the hotel. He went downstairs and he arrived and he partied with his boys and it's it's a good time. Everyone does it differently. I have no idea what's going on. I'm mad confused. The dole player starts playing the dole before we're even ready, right? I'm just like looking at the layout of what's going on. And my family is on the receiving side of the Barat, where Jazz's family should be. And Jazz's family is where we should be on the other side. And I'm just standing there like, yo, like, why was I being called nonstop when this isn't even right, you know? <laughs> priest is not there. I'm looking around. I'm like, yo, where's the priest? It's time for the milne, right? Where's the priest? I don't know. I'm not the planner, bro. You know? So thankfully, Ink's dad knows how to do a couple of bolia, so we force him. So the Milne essentially is an old tradition as well, and it's when the groom's side and the bride's side, I guess, meet each other. So they meet each other and I don't know, because our families have already met, but we did it because the parents wanted to do it. And I think it's just kind of like, hey, I accept you into my family and we are now united. And that's kind of the family's way of uniting. I don't know what it, what the history is, but I do know that that's what it felt like for us. It was just like, yo, we're family now. This guy had one chance to pick him up and he no, didn't no, do he it. He knew I'm from East London. He don't mess with the boys from London. My whole life, he had one opportunity to do this for me. Didn't do it. Usually the younger people that meet, like the brothers, they try to pick each other up. And the person that picks the other person up, they win. Even though it's not really a competition, they win. And I was like, Ink, man, I get married one time. If you don't pick Paul up, Paul is Jazz's brother, by the way. If you don't pick Paul up, you're doing me disrespect. Did I back down though? Yeah, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't. Yeah, you know I mean? He didn't back oh, down, he didn't back down. I was ready. Where are you from? East London, baby. East London. IG1, free man. <laughs> I feel good. I am excited. The Red Bull is finally kicking in and I'm just bored. I need some like music up in here, some people up in here. I don't know where all my peeps are. Shout out to Raman and Simran. They were with me. Raman's from Majestic and Simran's from Banga Studios. They were just with me and they were allowing me to do my thing. I'm a whole ass bride. You're a whole ass bride. They know that I am crazy about pictures and the way I look and I don't want it to be cringy and I don't want it to be uh, posed too much. And they were like, okay, give us five minutes to direct you and then do whatever the hell you want. And that's exactly what we did. And both the direction they went in and the direction that I went in both turned out amazing and I love them for it. Shout out to them. If you guys need a photographer or a videographer, I know they both travel. So wherever you are in the world, Majestic and Banga Studios, I couldn't ask for better people for my wedding. Oh, it's my future husband. Hello, love. Hello, love. How you doing down there or up there? I'm chilling. Oh, yes, sir. How about you? Um, we're just having the food. 
Uh, there was a bit of a hiccup during the run, but no big deals. You can tell me what it is? Yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, All right. bye. bye. See you soon. Love you. Love you. This is the moment. I'm about to walk in in probably two minutes. I'm about to vibe out, get married, and five, you lost your chance. <laughs> Vegas is close. I can still elope right now. I got two minutes. <laughs> Anything for her, G, before you're married? I love you. You're my best friend, and I'm excited to marry you. So, it's time for me to enter. I do have butterflies right now in my stomach. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm feeling all like, you know, emotional a little bit. I'm trying, I'm trying to keep it calm. I'm ready, game time, you know? Uh, Michael Jordan, game six. So I can feel her presence as she's walking towards me, you know? I can feel it. I can feel it coming. I haven't seen her in her outfit yet. I am the luckiest guy in the world. That's the first thing that came to my mind, but dude. And she sits down, I see her, she smiles at me, I smile at her. At that point, we could have privately been married, and, and I feel like we would have been done with it, but there's so many more things to do. I was like, I'm not gonna cry the whole time. I'm like, I'm not, I'm gonna cry now. <laughs> it's my wedding, it's whatever. We already live together, we love each other. I'm not gonna cry. I cry over everything. Why did I think I was not gonna cry? I cried. <laughs> the moment that broke me was when, so you're, oh my God, I'm crying. My dad handed me the falla, the scarf. That's tying the knot, essentially. Father is like, I'm giving my daughter away. I just lost it. Even though I don't live with my dad, it's just such a significant moment and it was a good moment. Aww. I'm gonna cry. I miss my dad. <laughs> I need some tissues. Quick, oh the eyelash glue. Oh my God. So we're sitting there, Kirtan's going on, just prayers happening. You know, and we just keep like saying little things to each other here and there, you know, dabbing each other up, smiling at each other. The Babaji, right? He stops what he's doing to call us out. He's like, hey, couple over there, Harji and Jazz, can you please stop talking to each other? It's time to get married. And the way we get married is we have an Anand garage, which is what our ceremony is called and we essentially walk around four times and each time kind of signifies something it's all hymns from the guru Granth Sahib, and essentially it is kind of just like letting go of your ego and letting go of material things and devoting yourself to each other and just devoting yourself to god if that's what you believe in or just a higher power whatever it is but it is just a union of each other and each time you go around it signifies something specific but that's how we get married and you you feel it when you get married and, and I didn't think I would but you do and it's very spiritual and it's very positive and everything just feels so joyous I was trying my best not to fall man I'm obviously not used to wearing a skirt I've never worn a skirt before in my life my skirt's getting caught under my legs when I'm going down and when I'm getting up. So I'm like, if I fall right now, it's gonna be hella embarrassing. <laughs> now you're my brother. I can feel the same brother. Brother, I feel way better. <laughs> We're married. We're married. <laughs> Finally. I didn't want to do this, but I didn't want to do a lot of things. It's because I, I honestly just don't believe in some traditions. We've been living together for five years, so this tradition made no sense. But my dad was adamant that he wanted to push me away in the car and do the thing where you like do the flowers and stuff like that. Hey, okay. Impressive? No flowers left, man. No flowers left. Okay, good. Aww. Bye, love you guys. <laughs> so, the craziest thing happened. This is a huge part where the brothers come together and like push you away and stuff like that. The significance to this is I'm, I'm throwing the flower petals, I get into the car, 
they pushed me away, whatever, right? I'm looking at my Kalita. My brother's picture is missing. I, my mom's still there. My brother's picture is completely gone. I'm like, oh my God, where did it go? Like what happened? We drive around the hotel once because even though I'm being pushed away, we're going back to the hotel. <laughs> and it's all on the floor right where I threw the flowers, right where my brother was giving me away. So it's kind of like my brother is giving me away. I don't know, it was just really, it was really weird and bizarre. And it's kind of like he was there with me. I don't know, it's just weird that he's right there on the floor where my brothers were giving me away. And I don't know if you believe in that stuff, but I really do. And it's just like, okay. My ears are killing me. Yeah. My mom loves her traditions, man. Oh, you, going, <laughs> you know, the milk drinking, the pouring of things, the giving of things, oh. the eating of things, all, all the things were, are going down. She did the mustard oil on the floor, presented us with all the luck and good wishes for our wedding. And then they gave me a Cartier bracelet. Ooh. 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 That's too much, guys. Well, you want it? <laughs> I feel so lucky because I know a lot of people are always like, I hate my mother-in-law, I don't want to get married. She is honestly a godsend. She understands being a daughter-in-law and she never treated me or treats me like one. She made me feel very accepted and, and I think she, I think because she knows my mom's not here, I'm like her daughter, so that's mom. My mom, that's mom. Okay. After people get married, they always do like a park shoot. You know, they go to a forest area or a farm area, or some kind of agriculture. You know? I was like, I don't want to do after wedding shoot where it's not me and Harji. We're just not that couple. We hate looking into each other's eyes and professing love to each other in public. Obviously, we do that in private because, you know, love you, babe. But it's just like not us. So I was like, what is the, what is us? What is something we can do that signifies our relationship that is just something so different? And I was like, why don't we get tattoos? <laughs> We're getting tattoos. <laughs> Jazz had a sick idea like a couple days before. She's like, yo, Harji, let's get tattoos after the wedding. I'm like, that's amazing. Our homeboy Money that was helping us vlog, he found a tattoo shop down the street. I just wanted the letter H, probably like here. I was born ready. So. I'm gonna get J here, J here, J here, and a J here. We just got married. That's why yeah, the outfits. Yeah, <laughs> I was wondering. That's fire. Exactly that. That's like perfect. It's a perfect size. Okay, yeah, cool. Good. I'm down. Done. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, that's so cute. That's me right, right? there. Again, my, not my name, but my first initial. <laughs> Close enough. We'll talk about the ARJIT later, you know? I think you all should get H's and J's. <laughs> Tattooed on you. Yo, everything went so smoothly today. Like, just like everything is falling into place. It's I've crazy. never seen a bride so calm. Like, Dude, you I were legit, chilling. like, like chilling in your room, just like getting massages by your I beaches. know. I was like, yo, I could have gotten an hour extra of sleep. But now it's official. Now it's official. We just spent so much money and had a big wedding and signed a marriage ticket. But now it's official. But now it's official. <laughs> now you have a tattoo. Now that I have a tattoo. <laughs> it looks so good. good? Yeah. Wow! That's so cute. I love it. Now I feel like I want to get it there too. You should. Yeah, you should. I got to take my whole outfit off. The outfit was amazing. So I was going to get it on my hand, but then I saw Jazz's. I saw hers. I'm like, yo, I got to steal that completely. So now I'm getting in the same spot. Cut my sleeve open. I'm never going to wear this outfit again, you know? Oh, it's yeah. so good, actually. Right? The little cousin. Yeah, Jazz, do you want to stand over here so we can get in the same spot? Yeah. It's time. Right. The font is sick. It's like perfect. And now it's official. If it wasn't already official, now for sure it's official. We're, we're talented. Uh, BTS. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. You happy? My sister in law's happy. Jump in there, jump in there. No, 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 I can't, I can't. They're having their moment here. Yeah. After, after, I'll jump in. I'm still scared of my brother in law a bit, you know, a teeny bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> the guy's a demon. I am a demon. <laughs> It helps them. Oh my god, that feels so good and so painful all at the same time. Beautiful. Beautiful. Tomorrow is reception day. I can't wait. I'm excited. Now all my stresses are over. 
It was a day. Everything, Everything went smoothly. Very smoothly. It was like crazy how smooth it, it went. It was beautiful, but we're exhausted, so we're gonna end this vlog right here. Make sure you're subscribed, obviously. Hit that like button, obviously. And we got round two tomorrow. Reception, baby. The last day. The moment we've been waiting for. Time to party. Let's get it. Woo!